So you're halfway through your morning commute when you pat your pockets only to find them empty. Then panic sets in because someone has stolen your phone. Like, what are you gonna do now? Because most thieves move fast. Within seconds, they'll switch on airplane mode, they'll silence your phone, and they will cut off its lifeline to the internet. But what if I told you there's a way to outsmart them and make your phone fight back? I mean, your phone could secretly reconnect, reveal its location, and even scream for help at full volume. Okay, let's turn your iPhone into a thief's worst nightmare. First, open your shortcuts app and hit the plus button to create a new shortcut. Now, the first thing this shortcut should do is to turn off airplane mode, just in case the thief has already turned it on. So search for set airplane mode and toggle it off. Next, search for the set mobile data action and turn it on. Now that there's internet access, let's make sure you can find your phone. To do that, ask the get current location action. This one pinpoints exactly where your iPhone is. Then insert the send message action. Tap message to add the content of the message and attach the current location that we got earlier. Then choose any trusted contact to be the recipient. If you want the message to go to more than one person, you can add more recipients by clicking this plus icon and choosing the people. Make sure to tap this arrow here and turn off show when run so the thief isn't alerted to what you're trying to do. But we're not done yet. If you have an iPhone 15 or newer with an action button, add the set silent mode action and turn it off. This one prevents the thief from muting your phone. I use an iPhone 13 Pro Max so I'm going to skip that because I don't have an action button. Now for good measure, we're going to turn on low power mode and increase the ringing volume to 100%. So search for set low power mode and make sure it's set to on. This is going to squeeze every last drop of battery life so your phone stays traceable for longer. Lastly, look for set volume, switch it from media to ringtone, that's very very important, then raise it to 100%. This will make sure that when you reach your phone's location, it will ring at full volume when you try to call it. Rename your shortcut to something like find my phone and save it. Now we are going to automate the trap. Now head over to the automation tab and tap plus to create a new automation. Select message and choose the contact that will trigger it. it. Could be your spouse or a second phone or a very close friend. Set a discrete phrase that must appear in the message for this automation to run. For me, I'm going to write something like where. Enable run immediately, then select the new shortcut you created earlier and save. Make sure you do a test run so that all the necessary permissions are given before you actually need it. But all we've just done will be completely useless if you don't take this precaution. And that is to disable control center access on the lock screen. Otherwise, thieves can just turn on airplane mode and go on their merry way. So go into your settings, then face ID and password. Input your password, then scroll all the way down and turn off control center. This is going to make sure that your control center is inaccessible from the lock screen. And that's it. So this is the whole thing in action. I used my husband's phone to send a text message to mine, and I made sure it contained the keyword that would trigger the automation, remember? Immediately the message entered my phone. This is what's happening. Airplane mode went off, mobile data went on, low power mode went on, and most importantly, a text message with the current location of my iPhone was sent to my husband. Come on, every iPhone user needs to have this on their phone. So make sure you send this to your iPhone friends. I hope you got a lot of value from this video. If you did, kindly like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers this month. Guys, please help your sister, okay? Leave a comment and share with everyone you know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.